Hi everyone, I am here today with a life update video and this has been a long time coming. It has been four years since I quit my full-time job and I just watched the video I posted four years ago explaining my decision. I was in a very tender place and looking back at my four year ago self, I see how far I've come. I'm still the same person, of course, but with a different outlook on life. And I do feel that in this time, I have healed so much of my old stuff that um, I am ready to do this video. At the end of my Why I Quit My Job video, I mentioned that I was taking a gap year. That gap year has clearly been extended, but to the point where I have decided that I am not going back to full-time work, if at all possible. One of you asked me to do a video a little while ago on kind of like the pros and cons of the lifestyle I'm leading right now, which is just working part-time. Because we all have different life experiences and circumstances, some of what I I say might resonate with you but some of it might not and that is totally okay this video is not meant to be a judgment on people who work full-time I was one of those people for almost two decades there's really no hidden context or anything like that it's just me sharing my experience so the main reason that I am NOT returning to full-time work is because this lifestyle of working part-time really really suits me I didn't leave full-time work to pursue YouTube full-time or to try like a new business idea or anything like that. I left work because I felt like I had to and it was time for me to recenter myself and find my authentic self again. So that was really the main goal. And as you know, if you watch my vlogs, I live a very ordinary life. There is nothing um, magical or glamorous about my life, but it is a life that feels very true and I'm very content and that is something that is um, very different from the way I used to feel. I used to chase pleasure a lot and I would try to avoid pain so I was up and down a lot when I was working full-time just emotional ups and downs. I would seek the thrill of traveling and then go back to work and just be really down in the dumps and it would just happen over and over again. I would need these jolts of like a fancy dinner, a Chanel bag, new makeup, just lots of stuff to keep me up. You know, I was seeking that up emotion all the time. And now that I work part time and I live a very simple, ordinary life, the pandemic kind of um, forced that on a lot of us. I found that that regulated my emotions. So I still have ups and downs. Of course, we all do. We're all human. But mine are more like this now, just like ebbs and flows, very natural, very neutral, which is uh, such a nice change. This lifestyle of working part-time and just having a lot of free time to do whatever I want, it really aligns with the life that I want for myself and that I really envisioned for myself. So there are a lot of pros for me in this area and honestly when I was trying to think of the pros and cons in response to the request for the video, I couldn't think of any cons. This lifestyle that I'm leading now, it just, it suits me to a T. I will share a couple of cons that might be an issue for a lot of people. The first, of course, is that I don't make as much money. The pursuit of money is a huge focus for a lot of people, including myself. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that personal finance is very near and dear to my heart. I am very money focused, very financially focused. I still care about budgeting, about maintaining my finances in a way that is sustainable so I can keep up with this life lifestyle in the long run. I would say on average I'm making about 50% less than I did when I was working full-time. So that could definitely be a huge issue for a lot of people and I totally get that. In terms of my own life though, I found that um, making less money has actually been better for me, better for my mental health. I don't know if I'm going to be able to articulate that very well in this video, the reasons for that, so I'd like to table that maybe for a future video. But um, when I was making more money, I had a lot of trouble with um, 
ego and entitlement. I had a lot of inner work that I had to do to go back to a lower level of income. The past four years have been very interesting because I've done a lot of that introspection and inner work in terms of um, money and wealth and how that relates to confidence and self-worth. And I've really had to work on um, quieting my ego that tries to tell me that I need to make more money and that I'm less of a person because I make less now. But when I dig deep and when I peel back the onion, the um, entitlement and ego onion, I realized that this level of income is much better for my mental health. It is a sustainable level of income. I don't feel like I have too little and I also don't feel like I have too much. Right now I'm at that sweet spot of income where I still feel like I can treat myself at times but without the ego and entitlement that I was experiencing when I made more money. That was a really interesting observation that came out of these past four years is that more income is not necessarily better, at least not for my own personality and my own state of mind. But um, I do recognize that um, some people may need a higher level of income to sustain their lives. I was able to pare back a lot and get rid of a lot of the extraneous stuff that I didn't actually really need or want. And that's why I'm able to sustain my current lifestyle on a much lower income than I had before. So that's one con that I can envision, although it's not a con for me personally. The other con, which I can also see a lot of people having when they step back from full-time work, is the camaraderie or the interactions with colleagues. So this is something that also isn't a con for me because um, I actually love being alone and I can thrive with very little interaction. That's something I learned about myself during the pandemic. When I was diving deep in introspection and inner work, I really, um, I really felt my connection to myself come alive and I almost became my own best friend and it um, it freed up a lot of the expectations I had from other people and the external validation that I needed from other people. So I feel like in these past four years I've really come into my own, my own quiet confidence. Of course I still do enjoy connecting with people but it's a much more unattached relationship which I think is healthier for me. As I meet more people though and different people I know that um, my love for being alone even among introverts is quite different <laughs> maybe it's quite um severe <laughs> i just i really love my alone time maybe it's from growing up as an only child in terms of needing interaction with other people i do think i'm quite on the low end of the general population. I don't need a whole lot of interaction to feel connected with people. I feel connected to the people who watch my videos and a lot of you I've never even met. So I, I don't know, I have this sense of connection with people but I don't need to always be in contact with them. But camaraderie and being in touch with colleagues is something that I could see would be difficult for someone who is used to working full time, making the transition to working from home part time and having a lot of free time on their hands. Those are the two main cons that I see and I want to jump to the benefit and that is for me time freedom. Time freedom has always been important to me and it was something that was very lacking in my full-time job. Even though my full-time job was pretty much strictly nine to five, I didn't have to work overtime very often at all. I never had to really work evenings or weekends. So it was a strict nine to five and I still felt like um, I didn't have time freedom. A lot of that was from the stress that I felt at work and knowing that I didn't want to be there. So that is a lot of internal stress, stress on myself, thinking I don't want to do this, um, there has to be something better out there for me, but not being able to take the leap. That really consumed me for a lot of time, many years. And because I felt so much stress, I found that after work I was often exhausted. So even though I had a lot of ideas for things I wanted to do and things I wanted to try, by the end of the workday I was so exhausted that um, I 
didn't really feel motivated to do any of them it was also affecting my personality a lot so i was finding it very hard to stay positive which is very strange for me because i've always been a pretty positive optimistic and happy person so seeing my personality change and seeing um my health issues arise those were very concerning and my mind was always preoccupied with those sorts of things versus following my creativity and trying all the things that i had in my mind that i wanted to do with the time freedom though i actually have time to be bored now i used to be very fearful of boredom and i've really made peace with being bored i really enjoy having empty space in my calendar now time where I can just do whatever I want. I can take a nap, I can film a YouTube video, I can do some writing. There are a lot of um, possibilities that have opened up because of this time freedom. So the reason I'm going to stay working part-time at the two jobs that I have now is because those two jobs are so flexible and um, they work very well with my skill set that I do have the mental energy and the actual time to pursue the things that I want to do, my own dreams and desires, if you will. So if you follow my vlog channel, you'll know that I am working on my book. I hope to release it next year in September, so we're about a year out. I am um, very passionate about that. It definitely is a passion project and I love working on it. I feel a lot of inner joy now and inner contentment and I don't think I could have said that before. I am going to end off the video here. I have rambled on a lot but suffice it to say that I am not going back to full-time work because I just love the um, time freedom that I have in the current life that I'm leading. That is going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Until then, please take care and bye for now.